I was hanging out with friends, flipping channels, and the truth about antique aliens came on the TV. There were these dudes sitting in a chair with a cone-shaped skull and a really long forehead. My friend said it was proof of aliens in ancient Egypt when they built the pyramids. My other friend said that they were from the lost city of Atlantis. I told them they sounded like boneheads. These were not some type of alien or Atlanteans, but really cool people who lived thousands of years ago. I knew they were not going to take my word for it. I needed to get some proof, some evidence. The library databases are a great place to explore everything about the universe, but I like it best for myth busting and fact checking news. The librarians are very nice and helpful too. First, I went to the library's homepage, then to the library database page. From there, I chose E for EHREF. I then clicked on the EHREF link to access their database. Sometimes I have to put in my college ID and password in again. This is the EHREF homepage. On the right hand column, you can find other resources and videos provided by the HREF people to show you how to use their site. We can explore those at another time. For now, we want to do a basic search. We want to find out what cultures practice cranial deformation and why they did it. That is our research question. To do that, all I need to do is type in my keywords, cranial deformation, into the box and hit submit. A few seconds later, the research results come back with 11 cultures that practiced it. Some are in Africa, others in North America, Oceania, and South America. Wow, I can't believe so many cultures did it. I wonder why. I want to find out more, so I click on the buttons to expand them. There is so much information here for us to explore, but don't let it confuse you. For now, we just need to look at the cultures that practiced it. We can learn about the other columns and codes at a later time. I want to look at this group in South America in a bit more detail, so I click on the culture. It is interesting to note that two of the cultures practiced horticulture, while the third, the Inca, practiced intensive agriculture. I might look into that more for my anthropology research paper. EHREF makes it easy to find the original sources and get more information about the people. HREF does not waste your time. It gives you the paragraph where the keywords are mentioned and then you can expand it. This also makes it easy to do citations and a bibliography. Now I'm really curious and want to know more about these people. I click on the paragraph for more information about them. I want to learn more about this culture's traditions, so I dig even deeper. I click on the page focus to find out more about the people and different aspects of their culture. It also gives me more reference information about when and where the people were studied. Now I've collected all the information I need to show my friends. I can show them that it was not an unusual practice. In ancient Egypt, there are statues and skulls showing people with elongated heads. And in case you were wondering, studies have shown that it does not affect brain development, just the shape. Some groups of people were still practicing cranial deformation less than 100 years ago, such as this group in Africa. The process would start soon after birth while the bones that make up the skull are still soft. The baby's head would be wrapped in cloth or a board would be placed on both sides of their head. In fact, while doing some more library research, I found out that cranial deformation was practiced all over the world for tens of thousands of years so it is not that unusual or otherworldly after all. Given the overwhelming evidence, my friends admitted that they did not know that people did that sort of thing. I suspect they did not take anthropology courses in college, or they probably would have known about that already. I explained that these people were not too dissimilar from us. The difference is that they lived in a different place a long time ago, and they had different cultural traditions. My friends were so intrigued, they want to explore EHREF themselves. I told them I always use EHREF for my anthropology assignments. Using the basic and advanced search features, I can easily explore thousands of different cultures across space and time, from anywhere. What topics will you choose for your first expedition?